Nick Michella. I'm with uh, GE Lighting Control Division, and today I'm going to be presenting our indoor lighting control solution. The four main features on this lighting control system that we have, it's a modular system. It comes in six relays, and it can be scalable where it can be a standalone system operating with building automation, with dry contacts, or with our aux sensors, to a network capability system using our CAT5 system where you can put intelligent devices like our scheduler or our data line switches. Third, fourth, our fourth point that we have in our lighting control system is it's a backnet device. So it can be an open protocol system giving us a full scalable system with front end control. Looking at our indoor lighting control panel, it is a very modular system. As we can see, it has a 14 inch cabinet, standard in our 12, 24, 48 size. Each footprint holds six relays, which are networked together internally jumpers between the modules and we have a group switch input module that has eight switch inputs that are software capable that you can actually network building automation system dry contacts to that you can software any number of relays in the lighting control panel or in your network. The eight inputs can also be analog inputs that you can do step dimming with simply by moving a jumper over to it or you can land a dry contact from a building automation system. The system then can be scaled up using CAT5 cabling to network our smart devices. The smart devices that we have available are our scheduling device. It is touchscreen scheduling. It has a total of eight schedules available. Simply by pressing the application, the schedule you want to program, very user friendly, click on the add button like you do on your smartphones. You can add schedules as simple as clicking on buttons and swiping over to copy schedules from particular dates. You can add as many scheduling devices as you like to expand the scheduling requirements up to 100 devices in a network. You can also have our network switches, which you can map any number of relays on your network that you have available. It could be relays or it could be our dimming module 0 to 10 to do manual control of dimming loads. So once we add our fourth point, our BACnet open control module, we can have a computer front end driven system. So once we add our BACnet lighting control module, it gives us a GUI interface for the user to have complete floor plans of their buildings that they can manually override particular zones or they can manually dim their zones with our 0 to 10 lighting controller. They also have the capability to set schedules on their lighting control systems and the capability to set any number of lighting control schedules in years or months in advance. The schedule has a kind of an outlook feel of simply drag and dropping your schedule on the date and time that you want your particular lights to be turning on and off. Great for facility managers that want the flexibility to schedule their lighting controls in advance. We also have energy dashboard allowing the user to look at the energy consumption that they're currently using on their lighting control panels per floor. Great for lead certification or doing tenant billing. And a web portal for allowing users to override their lights with a smartphone device.